add a new page to your ePortfolio, click Add Page. Give the page a name, then select from the ePortfolio templates. Remember, these templates can be set up by your Schoolbox system administrator or super user. The next step is to set permissions for who can view this particular page in your ePortfolio. Users can grant read access to members of groups that they are a part of for specific pages. For example, a student may want to allow their team members on the basketball team to see their hobbies and interest page. Permissions can also be set for individual students. So students can allow access to friends, siblings or classmates. Finally, students can choose whether to allow their parents to view their ePortfolio page. Once you are happy with the name, template and permissions, click Create Page. Depending on the template you have chosen, you will see different components. Like a class page, these components can be moved around by clicking and dragging to a new space. They can also be removed. You will notice that the components may have different titles or headers. The text is intended to help direct students or yourself about what to include in each particular component. Additional components can be added by clicking on the plus icon. The tabs you will see available will vary depending on the templates set up at your school. But the basic components could include text boxes, lists, image galleries, videos, or blogs. When you hover over the component, there may be additional instructions or directions to help students understand what to include or how to use the component. Click on a component to add it to the page or drag and drop to the space you'd like to see it on the page. To further customise your page, click on the slider icon in the top right. From here, you can adjust the column widths using the slider. You can also adjust the colours on the components. Select from the top, left or right columns and then use the colour picker to select the heading colours and the content colours. Just remember to save once you've finished. To add content to any component, use the clickable text inside the component. This may be Add to List, modify or post images. After you have added content to the component, remember to save by hitting the action button at the bottom of the component. To change the title of the component, click on the cog icon in the header and then type in the text field. 